नमस्कार 3835 डेथ्स आई रिपीट 3835 डेथ्स पर डे इन इंडिया ड्यू टू डिले इन ईदर द एम्बुलेंस रीचिंग द पेशेंट्स प्लेस और आफ्टर लिफ्टिंग द पेशेंट रीचिंग द हॉस्पिटल लेट इन शॉर्ट 3835 deaths in india per day are happening due to ambulance being struck in the traffic whom to blame see when we hear terrorist attacks or jawan deaths we show our pain as well as pains and we 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 blame someone and we wait for the justice when we hear that this person this terrorist got punished at least some sort of satisfaction will have but in this case whom to blame there are two sections according to me two people according to me two categories of people according to me one is 40% of the uncivilized indians on the road yes 40% of uncivilized people who are on the road who doesn't know to give a way to the ambulance but knows to follow the ambulance the moment the ambulance gets her gets the lane to follow the lane they have a good knowledge but these 40% of the uncivilized people on the road i can say idiots on the road doesn't know to give the way to the ambulance they are one responsible for this second is a government of india who never foreseen the future thoroughly if they would have foreseen the future they would have had one emergency lane separately like how in the united states of america in the uk or in the in the united arab emirates you have got a separate lane for the emergency a normal guy should not normal you know civilian should shouldn't enter that lane emergency lane that is only the ambulances other emergency purposes that lane would be used by mistake if you enter you will penalize a heavy and hefty penalty so here there is no justification for this 3835 deaths please no one is taking responsible you might ask me professor why can't they come up with the you know air uh, ambulance helicopters immediately in all the states i right? might ask me because india you know, the governments this a few state governments are even purchasing a lot or even spending a lot on on buying the aircraft like you know 191 crore the gujarat government has spent on buying an aircraft luxury aircraft 191 crore just for the cm deputy cm governor other dignitaries in that particular state to travel 191 crores you might question professor our government of india have spent 2912 crores i'm not giving an approximate of 3000 also 2912 crores on the statue of unity sardar vallabhai patels then why can't they invest on no they can't invest because there is a reason on the things you might even ask me professor why can't when they've invested 1600 crore on executing the national register of citizens in assam 1600 crore why can't air ambulance helicopters no because at this point of time in india all the fleet of helicopters are close to 1000 in this 664 plus belongs to army military the fleet of aircraft i'm talking military purpose remaining 280 change belong to the civilians whereas in this already the brands like medanta right jet set go these type of brands have converted into the this amb, you know helicopters into the ambulance air ambulances and charging a hefty amount average of 3.5 lakh per trip look at the thing 3.5 lakh average per trip or even the per hour charges would be around 1.5 lakh per hour inclusive of the gsts and everything this amount is 3.5 lakh per trip is far to the rich itself obviously farther to the middle class farthest to the poor what's the solution the only solution is india has to foresee the future now india has to invest on drone ambulances i repeat drone drone ambulances yes 
you'd be surprised to hear in the year 2020 in this year Dubai China and New Zealand are launching drone taxis yes drone taxis if like drone comes and pick you from your location and drone drops you at your office which means a uh, human beings normal official time itself is respected in these three places now now in India is it not the time to respect the human beings emergency a life and death case where those even every second counts when the person is in emergency to take it to the hospital every second we have to I spoke to the brands, the Volocopter, you know, Vora, all these brands. I spoke to them. Bell, Hyundai, Surefly, all these brands who are in the market, whose protocols are ready, ready to use uh, drones. I spoke to them. The cost is as it is. First question I asked them the existing things can we use it for the ambulance purpose? They said yes to lift the people with heart stroke, people with heart attack where there is no bloodshed much. We can immediately take them from the patient's house to the hospital. And that cost of purchasing each drone is including the you know import duty, everything comes to around 3 crore. And if we after coming up, after bringing those drones to India, if we make some changes for the ambulance purpose, we'd go till 4 crore, not beyond 4 crore. Our government of India has to purchase at least 10 for all this, like we have got 29 states and 7 union territories, which means for this 36 parts of India, government has to give 10, 10 drones of each for the ambulance purpose and and they have to check this protocol how exactly it works how many people per day these drones are saving and and my calculations have fetched 1440 crore 1440 crore if the government can invest immediately on drone ambulances this 1440 crore is like giving 10 10 to 10, 10 drones, gifting 10, 10 drones to 29 states and 7 union territories. Just 1,440 crore. Our government has money, our political parties have money. You will be surprised to hear in the, in the 2019 elections. Bharatiya Janata Party have hired 20 helicopters and 12 private jets for the campaign purpose, election campaign purpose. Congress have hired 10 helicopters and 4 business jets and they are only their cost inclusive because helicopter per hour charges is 2,80,000 business jet per hour charges is 4 lakh per hour 2,80,000 for helicopter and 4 lakh per hour for business jet when I, I, I have to really pester them to get the information, but they have not shared the exact information that I have got with the help of some RTI acts, everything. Then the amount of money what these two political parties have invested on a rental basis, they have not purchased rentals for using these helicopters as well as the, the business jets, uh, hoping 217 crore and 35 lakh. Political parties itself, these two parties, for the election campaign, the amount invested just for renting is 217 crore, 35 lakh. When I clubbed all the other players, like Trinamul Congress, TDP, Samajwadi Party, TRS of Telangana, all this when I made the calculation, it is touching close to 250 crore man. 250 crore political parties can, can throw just for renting these, these you know, choppers and business jets. Why can't? Why can't the government of India can invest immediately on this 1,000, you know, immediately invest 1,440 crores to pull in this drone drones into india this is the only solution please i promise it 
will save minimum it might not save 300 835 immediately the lives immediately per day but it will save minimum 500 lives per day I mean it is big 500 lives if you can save it is big government has to foresee now they did a mistake by not foreseeing and not having an emergency lane but now government have to force and immediately bring them and by mid of 2020 if they start working if they start being used if, if you start using them as an as a drone ambulances we can make wonders we can make wonders it's just 1440 crore over to the wisdom of the government of india nandri wanna come